All right, so I'm my last day of practice out here on Lake Hartwell. It's gone well so far. Um, I've got a plan put together for when we get out to start tomorrow. Um, really, I'm just trying to find a couple more spots. Um, I haven't been able to find a good morning bite, which is bothering me, but hopefully I can get on something tomorrow. Um, so basically the plan for tomorrow is to load up on my bucks, uh, guarding their fry on the backs of docks early uh, as soon as I can. And then I'm gonna be hitting main lake points with a green pumpkin swim jig. Um, it's the uh, Mr. B lure company in the male, male bluegill pattern. Um, so what I've got figured out is there's bluegill beds. Uh, bluegill are bedding and bass are around them but some bass also just finished spawning. Um, so I think these post-spawn bass went out to the main lake points. I've seen, so earlier in the week before the cold front came through, there were bluegill on beds. The bluegill were physically on the beds. Cold front came through on Wednesday. And the, the, the brim beds that I've checked out have not been holding bluegill. I haven't seen the bass around them. Uh, Yesterday afternoon and today it's supposed to warm back up. Water temp's finally starting to get back up to where it was. Uh, water was 75 degrees the other day when I saw the brim on the beds and it dropped all the way down to 65 in the morning on Thursday. So I'm hoping tomorrow is gonna warm up and we'll see some brim on the beds. I'm gonna be checking out Got those it. areas, but. The first stop is going to be just fishing Barely. docks, um, the green pumpkin magic fluke, and uh, I should be able to get my limit relatively quick. The fish have been on docks all week. I haven't fished them crazy hard, uh, pretty much just enough to, to know they're still there. There's a there's a lot of docks out here in this area, um, and a lot of main lake points that I'm going to be able to hit in between the docks. So. It's just get a limit as fast as I can, and then I'm gonna be grinding for the big bites on the uh, on the main lake points with the swim jig. Um, the fish are still eating that swim jig. Uh, I had a couple chase it out yesterday. Like I said, I'm trying to make sure I don't hook into too many fish. I don't know how stacked the fish are in this area. I don't know how well or how often they uh, they replenish. So I'm trying not to set the hook on too much, especially the the fish on docks that are guarding fry. I don't want to leave them, uh, I haven't been wanting to set the hook on them and make them shy from my fluke uh, tomorrow and Sunday. I'm getting excited. It's, uh, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a good weekend. I'm really excited that I was actually able to find something, put together a plan on, a, on this giant lake that I've never been on before. Uh, it's been exciting, it's been fun, it's been exhausting, and we haven't even gotten to the tourney day yet. All right, so I'm coming into this cove. I'm in about five feet of water, and I'm starting to see brim beds on the bank here. Oh yeah, there's a ton of them. So, this is like I was saying earlier, I'm not seeing any brim on these beds right now. Um, which I'm not too concerned about. I've been seeing bass around the brim beds, even if I'm not seeing the brim. So, I'm still okay with it. Now they're gone. They're gone. Okay. So what I'm doing, anytime I run into an area that's got brim beds, um, I'm just double tapping the bullseye. Doing the double tap on the bullseye. I'm gonna grab my phone. And as you can see, I'm gonna zoom in on it. Oh, I don't know if you can see that with the sunlight, but it puts a little bullseye on your map where you just double tap. So with the one click, you get the fish icon. With the double tap, you get a bullseye. Now what I'm gonna do, I go in here, um, I can take a picture, I can add notes, um, I can pin it to the map. What I'm gonna do on notes is I'm just gonna write brim beds. So now when I go back and look at this waypoint, I'm gonna know exactly why I put it there. I think the best part about using this Angler app is I can do all this at home. I can go on my phone. I don't have to grab my fish finder. I mean, I'm in a kayak. My fish finder is separate from my battery, which is all connected through the wiring in my kayak. And 
if I wanted to turn my fish finder on at home, it would be a huge pain. So I can use the Angler app to keep track of everything. My fish catches, any special, um, any special markers, uh, things like that. All right, day one of the Hobie BOS on Lake Hartwell is done. I wrapped up with 74.5 inches, uh, which was good enough to get me into 32nd out of the 143 anglers competing this weekend. Not at all what I was hoping for. I was, I was hoping to get at least 80. Um, everything completely changed for me today. Um, like I, we, I spent the last day of practice going around really expanding on my brim bed pattern. Uh, and it really looked like it was lining up to work out and be in full swing today. And instead the exact opposite happened. Um, I went looking around and no brim on beds, no bass around the brim beds. Everything that I had found, all the fish, all the life around it was completely gone. Um, on the flip side of that, I was able to get on an early morning uh, shad spawn bite. Um, I was able to get my limit quick. Uh, I had my limit at 11 o'clock. Um, I, I, it was it was a good day. I was I was happy to be able to call a couple times, but the problem is the fish that I was calling, I was only gaining an extra half inch or so on each fish. Um, but like I said, good enough to get me up to 30 second for the day. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow now. Uh, I might have to explore new water. I went out to the docks that I had my my highest quality fish on. There were no fish on docks. Uh, I caught a couple that were, you know, 12 inches, 13 inches, not good enough to go back there for. Um, all my good fish came around to that island. So here's what my day looked like today. If you can look at this and see this island right here. Oh yeah. So this island right here, where I've got these three fish catches, or four, that's where I spent my last day of practice. That's where I saw brim starting to move up onto beds. Um, and that's where I saw bass pushing those brim up. They were not there, they were not into those shallow areas today, but if you look right here, this little cove that I caught them in, This right here is a long point where I got this one. This one came on the drop off on the way into the cove. And this one came right here came on the on the uh, point. Uh, there was another fish in there that was a 12 incher. Uh, I was not able to call anything with it, but it was the fattest 12 inch bass I've ever seen. But I'm gonna be looking at this, at this angler app, looking at my catches where I got them today, where I've got things marked. And really, I'm just going to try to put to put a plan together tomorrow. I'm going to look at the uh, look at the maps and try to put together more of a pattern. Um, I caught a bunch of pre-spawn bass today. Not, not a bunch. A couple of them had full bellies, um, so they're going into spawn. I just don't I don't know where. I didn't see any fish on beds yet, so they may be still in pre-spawn mode out on those points and. Right now I'm thinking that is what I'm gonna be going after. I'm gonna to try to make the most out of the shad spawn in the morning. Um, and then just staying on those main lake points, throwing uh, baits for those pre-spawn bass. Hopefully it can work out. I'm gonna to try to fish more and travel less. I covered about eight miles today. Um, there's a lot of running around for not much of a reward. Uh, I think if I stay in that general area where that island is, I'm gonna be around fish all day and it may be a grind, but I should be able to uh, bust out another 75 inch day. We'll see, uh, hopefully it works out. I think if I, if I can get 75, 80 inches, that will hopefully be enough to get me up into that 15th spot or better. We'll see, I'm really excited to finish this out, a little nervous. Uh, not feeling as optimistic going into day two as I was going into day one, just because everything's so different. But uh, I've, I've got the spots, I've got some fish. I'm gonna duplicate um, where I got them today. And obviously you just gotta adjust on the water as well. So I'll let y'all know how it goes, uh, how we finish up. Hopefully we take home some money. Well, made it back to the ramp after day two. I finished the day with 153 and a half inches. 
Unfortunately, it is not going to be enough to get me a check. I think it's going to put me in about 20th place. Um, really disappointed I couldn't find a way to get a big bite. I got a, a 14 and a quarter inch fish that I needed to get rid of and couldn't do it. I uh, hit my limit at about 11.30 and I wasn't able to upgrade after that and it really, really hurt me. But at the end of the day, I'm proud of... Uh, I'm proud about how I did. Um, just wish I could have gotten a few more inches. <laughs> All right, well, the final results are in after day two. And unfortunately, I did not get a check. I ended up in 19th out of the 143 anglers. Um, I'm, I'm happy to finish in the top 20, but obviously wish I would have gone home with a little bit of money. Uh, I missed a check by about an inch. Uh, 15th place was 0.75 inches ahead of me. Um, this weekend was crazy. Uh, to wrap up the whole thing, I didn't get bit on any of the baits that I used in practice. The um, the green pumpkin magic fluke was the only thing that held true. I was able to get fish off of docks with that or the, uh, the fry garters. Um, I wasn't able to get any big bites that I needed. Uh, I was able to get a few in practice and I thought I'd be able to get at least one. If I had one of those big bites, I would have managed a, uh, I would have managed to get some better numbers, but on, unfortunately on day one I had a 13 and a half or something like that that I couldn't get rid of, and on day two I had a 14 and a quarter that I couldn't get rid of. Um, I was around fish and I just, I couldn't get the big ones. Got out on the water, and really all I was trying to do is I focused on hitting these points. Um, I'd go to each point, catch a fish, go to the next point, catch a fish, and all I wanted to do was go point to point um, and get as many fish on top water as I could before the sun really got too high. And I was able to do that. Uh, I managed to get three fish on top water pretty early in the day. Uh, I went back into a creek and got a fry garter. There really weren't many of those left. A lot of them moved out. Um, and on my way out of that creek around 11.30, I finally got my 15th, or my, my fifth fish, which was the 14 and a quarter inch fish, and uh, I got it on a jerk bait. Uh, there was wind blowing on one of those same points that I got a top water bite on, um, so I decided, decided to start throwing the jerk bait on that and got bit right away. Um, I threw it a little bit longer, caught two more fish that were under 14 inches, and I broke the golden rule of fishing and left fish to find fish and did not find any more fish. Um, I found some fish on docks that would chase my fluke out and they wouldn't commit to it. Uh, my mind's racing on things I could have done differently. I think maybe if I stayed on that point a little longer, maybe I would have gotten a big bite out of it. So after day one, something that I was able to do is I pulled up my angler angler app and um, I put on the chart option and I used this to find these long points um, where I wanted to go use my top water um, or chase top water fish early in the morning. And um, right here, this is where I got one. I was able to use this to, to find the long points. There's where I got my first one. You can slide that. Oops. GoPro, stop recording. Um, and I went over here, found this other point right here, and that's where I got my other one. You can see if I zoom out too, you can see where those points are. Um, and then finally I went just straight across, oh, actually that was my jerkbait fish right there, um, right here. I was hitting those, again, like I said, I was hitting one of those windy points. Um, and finally my last top water hit was on this point right here. Um, as you can see, a lot of my fish came out of the same area. Um, and this is a big reason I decided not to go on huge runs today. Um, yesterday I spent a ton of time traveling, way more time than I wanted to. There wasn't a lot of stuff to fish on my way to and from. Uh, my first area, my second area. So 
I really tried to cut down that travel time and I think it paid off in helping me get a much better bag. I, I finished with 79 inches today um, and I finished with 74 and a half yesterday. Um, so it definitely helped the travel time, helped me get some better fish that way. Uh, something I wish I would have done differently is I wish I would have just explored some new water. I kept going back to spots where I, I knew there were fish, but they were also fish that were eating earlier in the day. I think if I had tried to explore some new water, I might have gotten an extra an extra fish that had a little bit of size, but you never know. And you know, that's fishing, that's another opportunity to learn. I had an amazing week out here. Um, I have to thank Vibe Kayaks and ang the Angler app so much for uh, helping me get out here. Um, I had an incredible time. I would not have been able to do it without them and I really appreciate everything that they do for me. Um, both incredible companies, Vibe makes great kayaks. I love my Vibe Shearwater 125. Um, the Angler app has continued to help me be very successful in tournaments. Uh, it really helps me put together a plan, really helps me get fish in the boat. Um, I really also want to thank uh, Mr. B Lure Company. Uh, they make some great lures. Um, I caught a lot of my fish on, on their lures this weekend, like their spinner bait um, and their underspin. They, they got me some of my more quality fish. Um, also want to thank Senko Sticks. They make incredible rods. Um, custom rods so they'll not only set it up the way that you want it to look colors uh, set up things like that your grips that you like uh, but they can also set it up to make it a little bit more specific to you and uh, shorten them up if you want to um, also i want to thank kayak cushion uh, without my kayak cushion i don't think my back would have held up um, for the last last week of fishing that i got to do so i really appreciate all the all the support that um, all these companies give me um, other than that, uh, it's been a great week and looking forward to the next one.